Well, spring cleaning is around the corner, and uh, I know after me, it can be very intimidating looking at your to-do list, wondering where to start. But lucky for us, we have an expert. Katie France is here with us to give us some tips to make your home a little tidier. Katie, I, I love you, and I, I also don't want to talk to you because I know it's like this inevitable spring cleaning that we've got to get going. So um, I think for a lot of people, it's, it's optimism, but also it's that task list that gets really long and you get scared. But you're here to ease our fears. That's right. Yeah, with, with the temperature starting to warm up, this really is the perfect time to start creating some of those fresh new habits with spring. So we have a, a couple of tips here that are just gonna be really fun, simple things that everybody can do that's just easy. Um, first and foremost is probably my favorite tip and that is called decanting. So when you get back from the grocery what store- What the heck, decanting? <laughs> I know it sounds like such a funny word, right? But this is something that every organizer is, is just a huge fan of because it saves so much space. So when you go to the grocery store and you're coming home with these big bulky packages, oh, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and we all have them, we throw them into the pantry closet and they take up so much space. So one thing that every organizer would, would tell anybody is to decant, which means taking those items out of the big bulky packaging. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You oh take it out of the Oh my gosh, container. yeah, that looks like a Costco run right there, yeah. That's exactly right. And you're gonna stick those items into a container. It can be a clear container, a bin, whatever it is, but this is going to save you so much space. It's, it's literally 10, 15 minutes from your grocery run and just placing those items into a container in your pantry in your closet saves so much space it makes it so much easier to maintain and then it's yeah. also going to create just a lot more cohesiveness in your home you know so. what's nice about that too katie <laughs> first of all um it's good practice of recycling because holy moly i see that and i'm like there's my recycling for the week but also yeah. like i think we've all been there where we have a big box whether it's the peaches or granola bars and you can't see how many are left. And so what happens, no. you go to reach in or your kids go to reach in and you don't know and it's a mystery and then you're like, I have one left. And so it's <laughs> having it visual probably helps a lot too. Yes, oh yeah. I mean, how many of us open up the fruit box, you know, the fruit snacks box yep. and there's one snack yep. in this huge so exactly. So that's that's a really simple thing that everybody can do. And that's a great habit to start in, in the springtime. Uh, the other thing that is so important, and it's like one of my number one tips is just make your bed. It's All right, 30 bye. seconds. I got to go. I got to go make my bed. I got to go make my bed because I forgot. You know well, and, and here's the thing, you know, that famous quote we all hear, hear of is if you want to change the world, start by making your bed. It's an easy, easy habit you can start creating and makes such a difference in your day. And really, you know, we, we it, it's just those tiny little things we do that really escalate all those other habits we want to create. It's, it's like a domino effect. So when we start making our bed every single morning, our brains are like, oh, we just created a new habit. That's awesome. Let's start creating some other habits in our life. So it's kind of that first domino that we're, we're starting to create in our life that uh, just makes such a difference. So make your bed. 30 seconds of your time will make such a big impact in your life. And so you know what's funny about here. making the bed is like I, when you do it, you never want to do it in the morning, but always right. in the afternoon, you wish you would have made your bed because <laughs> there's nothing that makes your bedroom look nastier than an unmade bed. Like everything else can be, and that's what Lauren and I talk about all the time. We're like, oh, we don't want to make the bed in the morning because it's so early and then we hate it in the evening when we're trying to, you know, it's, it's amazing oh. how the difference between morning and afternoon. It, it totally makes a huge, huge difference. So, and it's so, it's so simple, so easy that anybody can do. So, yeah. And then third tip, third okay. tip that's just really, really, once again, these are all easy things that we can start incorporating is start investing a little bit in your home's harmony. So what we want to do in our homes is start creating a little bit more cohesiveness, which is taking things as simple as mismatched hangers, things that just don't match and go together and invest a little bit in some matching hangers. Oh, love it. Containers, right? Little things, you guys, that are so simple, but it's gonna make maintenance so much easier. Aesthetically, like the look, it just makes a, a much simpler, fresh look in your home. And it's just gonna, it's once again, it's all those little things that we do that create those fresh new habits that we're wanting to create. So just cohesiveness, matching, matching containers and hangers in your home big, big difference and start small. Start with the pantry or your clothing closet or a hallway closet. You don't have to go invest hundreds of yeah. dollars into 
containers, just little baby steps to start creating those organization habits in your home. And, and once again, now in the springtime yep. is the best time because all these stores have all these great totes and bins and containers. They're all on sale right now. So really, if you're going to start kind of creating more harmony and flow in your home, this is Love it. Time. Yeah. Love it. Great Katie France, it. Your Simply Home. Where can people go? YourSimplyHome.com? <laughs> Yes, go to yoursimplyhome.com. Okay. I do virtual organization sessions with people. I have a whole program on there to help you get organized. This is, once again, springtime's a great time to get organized. And then, you know, if you need coaching or anything like that, just, just let me know. Wonderful. You're the best. I'm going to make my bed. I'm going to make my bed, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stick around because later in the show, we'll be checking in with, well, Lauren from Joey and Lauren in the morning. So stick around. More of that coming up on Idaho Today.